Today, we have four GMs that are trying to rebuild the team and win the championship, and two tanks that are trying to destroy the team. At the beginning of the year, I'm going to randomly select two of the six people to be put into a private call to make trade number one. Next, I'm going to randomly choose two of the top eight players on the team. The people on the private call will now discuss if they want to put both of them in the trade finder or just one of them. If there's a disagreement, I will flip a coin to decide who makes the choice. Out of the offers that are presented into the trade finder, three of them will be selected at random. The people on the private call will choose one of the three trades or choose to not make a trade at all. If they choose to not make a trade at all, nothing will happen, but this can only be used once a year. But if they agree on a trade, the trade will go through. If there are disagreements on which trade should be made, it will come down to a coin flip on who makes the choice. And after all that goes down, the private call ends and I will simulate to the trade deadline. This is where trade number two will happen. Once again, I'll randomly select two of the six people to be put into a private call. And that whole trade process I just explained will happen again. Once a trade is made or not, I will end the private call and simulate to the end of the season and the playoffs. If the team wins the championship, the game is over and the GMs win. But if they don't win the championship, we'll move on to the off season where I will simulate to the day before the NBA draft. This is where trade number three will happen. For the final time this season, I will randomly select two of the six people to be put into a private call and they will make a trade. Only this time they'll be allowed to add their first round pick into the trade finder if they have one. A trade is made or not made and will simulate right to the draft and these two people will also be managing the draft. If they agree on a player to draft, they'll take them. If there's a disagreement, it will come down to a coin flip. The two people currently in the private call will also be managing free agency. The two people will choose one free agent they would like to sign. After they both choose a free agent, it will come down to a coin flip to decide if they are eligible to sign the player they want. If both of them win their coin flips and both players become eligible, they may sign both players. But if the salary cap events that they must discuss who they want to sign and who they don't. If they can both agree on one person, that person will be attempted to be signed. If they can't come to an agreement, a coin flip will decide who makes the choice. Any players on bird rights can be signed back to the team as long as both people agree. If they don't, it will come down to a coin flip once again. I will now simulate through the rest of free agency, and now I will stop at player progression while all six people will come into a call and have three minutes to discuss the season. At the end of the discussion, I will bring each person individually into a call and they will vote on who they think one of the tanks are. If there's a majority vote, that person will be kicked out of the game for the rest of the video. The GMs can win by voting out all the tanks or winning the championship, and the tanks can win by the team failing to win a championship within five seasons or the majority of the people remaining are tanks. One last note, the tanks don't know who each other are, but if they ever find out, that's a huge advantage. Let's get into year number one. Enjoy the video. You guys will be able to trade with seven and three. So you'll be able to trade with quickly and Julius Randle. I feel like we should uh, trade Julius Randle's bum ass. I mean, we have more space for cap room in the off season. All right. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I'll go Julius Randle. That's fine. All right. So we're putting Randle in the trade finder and we have 22 offers. All right. We got a lot of offers to work with. And you guys will be able to make trades 13, four and 20. Four is Kevin Love and Lamar Stevens. Ooh. Trade 13 is Fulton, Jonathan Isaac. And trade 20 is Jeremy Grant and Gary Payton. I'm a big 13 kind of guy. Let's do 13. You both agreeing to do 13? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's lock in trade 13. Randall and Hartenstein for Fultz and Isaac. We are at the trade deadline. Let's see what your trade's going to be. And it's going to be two and seven. So you could trade Jalen Brunson or quickly. Bro, Brunson, that Brunson contract. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, I see that. I would say we keep quickly because he's young. And I would say we get rid of Brunson. You both want to trade Brunson? Yeah. That's straight. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Stop. And your offers are 19, 7, and 15. So here's trade number seven. Okay. Well, there's trade number seven. We got trade number 15. You get a first round pick. And then we have trade number 19, which would be for Porzingis. 47 million looks crazy. He's gone after this season. And Fournier, that's a heavy contract. This also makes our team worse. So we all, our first right now would also be a better pick. I think I'm going seven. Yeah. You both agree to seven? Yeah. No, all right. We're going to lock in trade number seven. Jalen Brunson and Fournier for Westbrook and Bryant. Well, we all had that coming. And no playoffs for the Knicks. So we got nothing going on here. And the Pelicans win the championship. Zion finals MVP. I guess not a bad first season for them. They cleared some cap, which I mean, I guess it's a good and bad thing. They kind of just threw away Brunson. But I mean, hey, listen, I mean, Curl's doing his magic, I guess. This team has the number two pick in the draft. So actually, there's only two people here who don't have expiring contracts. So you can actually only trade with Markel Fultz and Mitchell Robinson. So those will be the two people you could trade with. I would trade Fultz and the pick and try to get Wimba. So Mitchell Robinson would be the backup. All right. All right. So the second pick and Fultz is together. You have six offers. So you're going to be able to choose through three of them. Three trades you can make is five one and four so this is your first trade for dejounte murray we have trade number four which is the third overall pick in ben simmons and then we have the fifth overall pick which will get you eight and and mikhail bridges no i'm not liking any of those i'd be all trading mikhail bridges one will look half bad and we have the second pick so victor's not going to be on the board after the second pick so he might as well get i don't know sometimes he could he, he could sometimes follow the i look he flip a coin on that i, I look he take the other coin mikhail bridges yeah all right zo called tails and we have tails so we're going to keep the number two pick the trade's not going to go through right, Let's go. Bad at that. first overall Overall was oh wow 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 oh that's I crazy you, uh, i'm not gonna lie i don't know the last time i've seen that happen all right so you, are you both agreeing to select victor yeah okay yes. victor is the pick so now rookie signing team player option qualifying we all we skip all that so here's our free agent signings plenty of cat space so you guys can actually have the ability to sign at least one of these guys we could like get two good players right now and say sign Milton. give me miles bridges that's crazy okay so we got middleton and miles bridges all right so now we're gonna toss it up to a coin flip if you're actually able to sign them or not. So flag heads or tails. Heads. I'm looking with Mob Bridges now. All right, and it 
is it is, oh wow it just landed on heads all right oh. so you will have the ability to sign middleton and that will do it for miles bridges though heads or tails oh uh, it's tails all right let's see what we got and it's heads okay so you can't sign miles bridges but you can opt to sign middleton so do you both agree to sign middleton yeah, yeah. okay now you have players on bird rights are there players here you want to try to resign or whatever it may be you guys can agree on i'm done i'm done with like sign and trade rj all right so you both want to sign rj uh sure bro. so rj barrett agreed to your offer you don't have anything on chris middleton yet so you may not even get him yeah it looks like you're not getting middleton but it looks like you might be getting rj barrett on a qualifying offer so you may only be coming back for seven million dollars okay there you go all right so you guys got chris middleton on the team you guys will have three minutes to discuss the season anything like that maybe anything you found fishy go ahead Yo, this is a good team bro i mean yeah <laughs> i mean i, I can't complain about it this is like a really oh, good you team. guys you upset. guys traded d rose no we didn't sign him he uh, wanted 12 million a year. Dude, I don't know why. Like, signed, why did you sign a 31 year old Middleton, bro? We could have like built like a <laughs> I, was, I wanted, I wanted to sign Miles Bridges, but uh, yeah, wait, Black, who, Black Scott Middleton. I wanted Middleton because I thought it would be like a good bench player or a good like play to put next to. Oh, are we trying to go to win now, right now? When we just drafted we, a first overall pick, like I mean, this sense. team is good enough to win right now. So you wait, yeah, well, I mean, we're making the playoffs. There we're we're gonna make the playoffs next season. Who would you rather have, Miles Bridges or Millenden? Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. All right, all right, all right. T time is up. I'm going to bring you all back to the waiting room, and then I'm going to bring you up one by one to see you guys want to vote off. You can opt to not vote anybody off. If there's no majority, then nobody will get voted off for the first season. But after this year, someone's got to get voted off year by year. But this year, it can just be nobody. So I'm going to bring you all back to the waiting room. I'm not going to vote anybody now, but I, I was going to lean towards Flax, though. Yeah, as of right now, I'm going no vote. Okay, all right, no vote. Wait, does my vote get, um like, announced but no like, I no one's gonna know how many people voted for who or whatever no it's all anonymous okay. I, will I will flex i will flex okay i feel like i don't have enough information i'm gonna wait another year i'm gonna go no vote okay all right flipper what's your vote all right uh zo zo okay um yeah i'm gonna vote for flex okay okay obviously i'm the imposters and i feel like they're catching on to me so i, I look at what krill out. gonna make the announcement that there was no majority vote so everyone is gonna be here for the second season Your two players, the options you'll have will be two and eight. So you could trade Chris Middleton and you can trade uh, Josh Richardson. We're paying a 32-year-old man $36 million. Yeah, Middleton needs to go. We both know that. But do we really want to add Richardson on the side? Nah, let's keep Richardson. 78 is not bad off the bench. All right, so we're going to throw in Middleton. Let's see how many offers. We have 18 offers. Let's see which one of those you're going to be actually able to use. 13, 4, and 15. So trade number four is John Collins of Bogdanovich. We have trade 13, which is Sadiq Bank, Clay Thompson. You'd be giving up Josh Richardson the trade anyway. And then we have trade 15, which you'd be giving a first round pick for Senjun and Jay Sean Tate. I like the first one. I like four. Yeah, I think I'm looking at four. All right. Well, that went pretty smooth. We got Middleton and Obi Top for John Collins and Bogdanovich. Let's see what two players you guys are going to be dealing. And that is going to be one and eight. So you could trade RJ Barrett or you can trade uh, Josh Richardson or you could put them both in a package. Uh, what if we just put both of them in a package? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yo, you want to try that? Let's see if there's any offers. And okay, you got 16 offers. Oh, hell. Please don't land on one. All right, well, let's see what offers you're going to get. Eight, one, and six. Oh, well, you, you literally no. just say you didn't want to get trade offer one. <laughs> no. One of them. Uh, eight and six got to pull six through. Six is Franz Wagner and Wendell Carter. And then we have Nashawn Highland and Darius Baisley. Oh, now, no. you guys can opt to not make a trade at all. But again, because we haven't used that yet. That has not been used this season. Or you guys can come through the agreement about one of these trades. I mean, I say we do the no no trade. I know Carter would be a good backup center, though. We already yeah. have one though oh yeah mitchell robinson i said we say no trade yeah yeah no trade no trade? no trade all right well luca mvp once again and look at that they got victor winning rookie of the year and he made all nba third team shocker and the knicks are in the playoffs this time so we'll be able to watch here's some stats from the year i forgot them show the last year my bad i've been managing a lot right now but still rj going off doing his thing back to weapon yama 22 and 12 Fultz giving them 19 and 11 wow all right well they got the hawks in the first round versus trey young game one we take game two they take game three we take game four they take game five okay we're up three two one point game 57 seconds up three two trey gonna the screen you're gonna fade away from three okay he missed the rebound mitchell robinson weapon yama going crazy with the handles pull up midi get to the go Knicks take a one point lead trey trying to force the game seven passes it to griffin from three misses it rebound victor they're choking this game and let's see if they randomly foul here with 27 seconds left of course they do victor smoked the first free throw so if he knocks down the second and he does trey gonna use the screen here down three two he's gonna drive to the basket step back midi what the hell was that oh victor really grabbed that rebound second free throw for victor weapon yama and he knocks it down they may do it weapon yama 
who are 38 and 16. That is ridiculous. Now we got a second round matchup versus Boston. They're pretty stacked. Boston took game one. They're going to take game two. We're going to take game three. Maybe get it to two to two. And this might be a gentleman's sweep. And it is. The Knicks are eliminated. Your two trade numbers are two and seven. So you could trade John Collins. Oh, you can't trade Bogdanovich. So we have to do a reroll. So I'm going to do one number. So, um, which I'm going to call it. John Collins will be available to trade. And then we'll see who the other person is. That'll be three, which will be Victor Webinyama. So you can include John Collins or Victor Webinyama in the deal. And you can also include your first round pick that you have. We should do John Collins in the first. Okay, yeah, John Collins in the first round. Dude. All right, let's do John Collins in the first. You guys have 17 offers. Let's see which one it is. Three, two, one. And we have 17, 16, and six. So we can go right to six. Offer six is Kevin Huerter and Cameron Johnson. Offer 16 is Jordan Poole, pretty much straight up, but you get a first round pick back. And then offer 17 is Kuzma and Daniel Gafford. I'm down for the Kevin Herter and Cam Johnson trade. Okay. Me too. We're agreeing on trade number six. Yep. Let's go ahead and do it. So there's some pretty enticing free agents here that you guys can sign. So again, one of you chooses who you want to sign, and then I'm going to flip a coin to see if you're actually allowed to sign that player. If you have four players on bird rights. I'm going to say Jalen Brown. I want to put an offer in for DeJounte Murray. So heads or tails? Heads. And we got heads. Okay, so he's eligible to get signed. Real, uh heads or tails? Heads. All right, he called heads, and we got heads. Okay, so now you both have to come to an agreement on which person you want to sign because now both are eligible to be signed. All right, let's, yeah. do, let's do Murray then. It's just, it's just Jalen Brown could shoot better, that's all. Yeah, 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 go DeJounte. <clears throat> that's your lock pick, and well, you can't even afford him anyway, so that was pretty much all for nothing. All right, so you guys can now opt in for any of your bird rights players. I don't want any of these guys. We might as well just bring back RJ. That's, look how much you want. I think we just go for non-ball dominant players. You know what I'm saying? Like good off the ball players. I'm 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 saying just get RJ back. All right, so call it heads or tails. I'm gonna say tails. And it is heads. So you guys are gonna sign Bogdanovich. Oh my god. All right, you guys got three minutes to discuss. There's the team. Go right ahead. So this is what happened in free agency, basically, right? Like. We wanted to get uh, either Jalen Brown or DeJounte. We ended up going for DeJounte, didn't get him. So we had 40 million in cap space. We could have spent all of that on RJ, like 36 of that on RJ. So if we just waited one more year and just signed like a superstar, we could easily win the championship fourth year. Someone destroyed our whole team. Because we, we definitely, John Collins, like what, what happened to John Collins? Yeah, oh, like we, yeah, traded we, him. We, we, we picked up we John Collins. Trade him. We, had, we didn't have a choice but to trade him. John Collins would have, been, would have been a good fit at power forward. That's the thing. That's all we No, picked. we would have gladly kept him, but it was... Yeah, we, we had to. We're Victor or John. We're trading John. Uh, <laughs> that makes yeah, sense. Uh, well, that's the thing. Somebody, somebody's got to go in, the, in this round, and we don't even, we don't have no clue. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, Everybody's man. playing the game the way it's supposed to be, and I, I can't. Know who, it is. Wait, okay, I know who did it. the no trade? Who did the no people. trade? I want to know that. What was the no trade that you guys didn't do? Uh, okay, that was me and Flax. It yeah, was sure, RJ yeah, for like just some dookie. Like we, we had oh, no choice. It was, what was the sent the Wendell Carter? And so yeah, else, no cut that was the only. What are the other trades you guys and, uh, had? Yeah, we got Bogdan and John Collins. Time is up. All right, Zo, who's your vote? I might be leaning towards Flags, bro, because I heard about them not trading so i'm gonna just vote flex okay all right Carl, what's your vote I'm voting alonzo all right king what's your vote uh i'm voting out flax okay all right flipper what's your vote uh i think i'm gonna go king all right beast what's your vote uh crow all right flax who are you voting out beast I, I'm, I'm just one of beast this man had a 50 percent chance to just stay alive all right and the votes are in there is someone who is going to be voted out and that person is flax i'm sorry flax you have been voted out by what? majority i don't know how we went from like a sixth to fifth seed to not a playoff team at all and i'm the one getting voted out but i respect the decision you guys got three years left let's see who the two players are you can actually trade it's going to be two and five so you could trade mitchell robinson and kevin Huerter. i like Herter. I, I say we throw robinson in i wanted to like see both of them because i don't know they're both making we can throw them both in all right and you guys have 14 offers let's see which ones you're actually going to get all right three two one and we got five seven and twelve offer number five is for marketing Ooh, that's a that's a pretty good player Ooh. offer number seven click capella and malik monk and then offer 12 kobe white and marvin bagley i, I mean i five yeah, i like the larry marketing one all right let's do it all right that was a quick trade all right well we're in February. They're 29 and 22. Maybe not a finals contender. Let's hope this next trade they make actually makes them better. Let's go ahead and see who your two players are. It's going to be four and seven. So you could trade Carson Wallace and you could trade TJ Warren. I think uh, both, huh? Yeah, both. We got 13 offers. Let's go ahead and see which ones you can make. It's five, three, and six. So here's offer three, Devin Vassell and Jared Butler. Offer five, Mitchell Robinson and Walker Kessler. And then offer six, Denny and Tim Hardaway Jr. And you could also opt to not make a trade as well. That has not been used yet. I'll go uh, six. I yeah. Mean, it, Denny, can play, Denny can play the, the power. So I don't want to force them with the with a tr like a horrible trade. You know what I mean? Like the, the right. next group. 
Mm -hmm. Like, what if they were to trade Victor or something? Like, I don't know. Let's do trade number six. You got TJ and Carson Walsh for Denny and Tim Hardaway Jr. You know, that was kind of that was kind of smart by Crow right there to kind of get get um get Flipper on his good side there because he just has to survive three more years here of not you know getting caught. That's all he's got to do. All right, we got Darius Garland winning MVP. Victor Webanyama dropping a casual thirty and sixteen. Yeah, getting him is such a cheat code. Of course, he made first team All NBA, and the Knicks did make the playoffs as the four seed. So we're gonna watch. I don't know how far they're gonna go though. It's gonna be all on Victor's back because uh, no one else here is really going that crazy. All right, well, we got the Wizards in the first round and old Paul George and Scoo Henderson, who went number one. Well, here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. Is that going to be a sweep? No, okay. It might be a gentleman sweep here, and they're going to get the gentleman sweep. Now we got to play the Algo, the Cavs with 94 Garland, 93 Mitchell. That's a tough team. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, oh, that's a nasty sweep. Is gonna, that's a, it, it is tough to beat Cleveland. That is that's tough. So let's see what your two players you could trade are. Eight and seven, that is going to be... Josh Richardson can't be traded because he doesn't have a contract, so I'm going to do a re-roll. And then the other player is going to be four, so that'll be false. Okay, so you could trade Markel Fultz, and you could trade Bogdanovich. We could throw both of them in a pick together and see what... Just like the more assets type shit? Okay. So we'll throw in the draft pick and both players. Let's so see, we got 13 offers. Out of those 13, you're going to get four, 10, and five. Offer number four, Fred Van Vliet and Mitchell Robinson. Trade five, Wendell Carter and Malik Monk. Trade offer 10, Tyrese Proctor and Kelly Oubre. We get Fred, and we get Mitchell Robinson back. <laughs> but we don't need that 2029 pick anyway. Yeah, we just need we just need better Mar players, bro. And Larry and Larry marketing and like that's yeah, literally we like, just need better players it's not like game changing but it, it makes us better today Fulton Bogdanovich for Fred Lee to Mitchell Robinson okay there is some very good free agents that you guys can get your hands on I'm down for Mitchell and I'll tell you why he's on the Cavs they're the first seed in the east right now and if we get him then we just make the best team in the east worse and we get much better yeah I want to do Tatum all right because I, we're not pay, we're not paying anybody crazy right? so call it heads or tails let's say tails all right let's see call tails and it is tails okay so you cannot sign Tatum Krill held it to heads or tails tails all right I'm gonna spin it and it's gonna be heads okay so you can't sign mitchell but we can have a shot here at tatum and you don't even have the cat space which yeah you're, you're 10 million out of it i don't think you guys have any players on bird rights oh you got a few you got a few if you guys want to pitch some offers on bird rights bring Larry marketing back yeah so you guys just want to do marketing yeah okay yeah. you guys got three minutes go ahead talk discuss there's the team i don't think i can make a decision i didn't even get a fucking turn last season just been sitting in the waiting you room. didn't get a turn <laughs> No. Oh like, my God. They have five people. Yeah. Oh my God. I I don't know what I don't know how I messed that up. I I thought I included everyone, uh, and then okay, that's my. I should include you into the free agency. We weren't able to sign anybody because we didn't have enough money. So oh, me and man. Flipper did. Um, we did a trade. What did we do again, Flipper? We ended up getting Denny. Yeah, yeah. We basically it was like a like for like trade, but we didn't want to do a no trade and then trap someone else later. So we're yeah, like, all right, we're Wait, we, we, back we didn't want Victor to be gone. Yeah, we got Markinen and um. Oh, we got was, uh, uh, Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. We had Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich? Yeah, we, we had Bog. Yeah, hold on. Kind of know who it is. I don't. I'm. I'm kind of confused on the trade, y'all. Still, there. can you clarify that? Well, you can't now. We're at. You're out of time. All right, Zoe, what's your vote? I'm gonna go. With, I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna just say flipper. All right, Krill, what's your vote? I'm voting for King. Okay. All right, King, what's your vote? Oh, this could screw me over. I'm gonna go no one. No one. First. All right. All right, Beast, what's your vote? Even though you didn't participate in the seat, my bad. I. I. I thought I had you in one. That's why I just did a respin of everyone's name. Uh, I'm. Not, I still think it's Krill. All right, Flipper, what's your vote? I'm gonna go King. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, there has been a decision made. Someone is getting voted off, and it is King with the majority God. votes. So King will be getting <laughs> oh, kicked man. off. Do you have one thing you want to say before you go? Yeah, I do. No matter what you guys do, the Knicks will never win a championship. Yo, watch out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're talking to a Knicks fan right there. Let's see what our two players are. It's going to be two and one. So you can put Victor in a deal, Mitchell Robinson in a deal, or both of them in a deal. I'd rather do Mitchell here. Yeah. You guys want to do? Away, you guys want to do just Mitchell? And your three offers are going to be 23, two, and oh, sorry, 23, 12, and two. So here's <laughs> offer number two. You get Denny back. Offer number 12. You get Jason Asmoda and Saban Lee. And then offer number 23, Grant Williams, straight up, pretty much. I rather not make any. I'm trade. saying no trade. No, no trade? trade. Yeah. All right, no trade's going to happen. I'm going to put you guys back in the waiting room. All right, well we're here in February, and this might be the best record they've had so far. 32 and 19, not bad. So here's the two players you could trade. Four and two. So you could trade Mitchell Robinson, and you could trade Cole Anthony. Uh, we should just do Cole. Yeah. Do Cole because he's making 20 M's. Maybe we could get some somebody from him. And out of all of those, you're gonna get 13, 18, and 2. Offer number two is do you get Denny back? Offer number 13, Chef for Gary Ten Trent Jr. And then offer 18, you get Andre Jumman and Kyle Anderson. I say we just do um the Gary Trent. Because literally we don't get it's the only chair where we don't get worse. We might as well just get Gary Trent. They're the same player. All right, locking it in. All right, well, Victor Webb and Yama win an MVP. And the next to the third seed, at least they're getting better every year. But again, the team's getting carried by Victor, may get a little more help from Van Vliet, but it's literally just all on Victor.
Bowser. All right, and we got the pisses in the first round with Cade Cunningham and Kawhi. Well, here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Game four, they take. And game five, okay, four is to game six. And they're going to walk away with game six in the Simcast. And they're going to blow them out here in game seven. All right. Now we got a second round matchup versus Tatum and Giannis. Okay, that's and, and even Lillard. Well, here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game, that's a nasty duo, bro. That, that That's not even fair. Like, I don't even, I don't even, like, I don't know what to say about that. Let's see what two players you guys are going to be able to trade here, and it's going to be 8-1. and one. Well, you can't trade Victor because uh, he's expiring contract, but let's see who the last person is. Okay, that's going to be... Am I doing math right here? Yeah, that's... Oh, he expired as well. Let's try that one more time. We're going to get 7-2. Is that someone we can actually... Try? Okay, so Old Depot 7 and then 2. Okay, so we have 7 so far, so so far you could trade Old Depot. Can 4 be traded? Okay, so you could trade Fed Van Vliet, Old Depot, and the draft pick and whatever combination you want to do. Yeah, I say I say um all 3. All 3? And let's see which one of those three you're going to get. It's going to be 6, 1, and 12. So the first offer, you see it right there, Isaiah Stewart and Andrew. Offer number six, Quentin Grimes and DiVincenzo. And then offer number 12, Bobby Portis and Mortis Wagner. Now, you have to make a trade because your no trade has already been used. So you have to use one of these. I think, I, I think I'm think i solid with this one. They're going to make a free agency signing, right? Well, you are. You're, you're, like free, after this? you're free agency. Oh, we do free yeah, agency. Yeah, you guys are free okay. agency. This is the yeah. trade you want to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to show you how much cat space you have just to help you out a little bit. So you can sign a max guy. You have you have enough to sign oh, okay. one max guy. That's the cap you have. And these are the free agents. I'm down to sign Paolo. Steph. going to pitch an offer to Steph. And okay, wait, you might just be Oh, I think you just can afford Steph. Yeah, you can. We're gonna pitch an offer to Bancaro. All right, well, you got Steph and Paulo. What I want to put out there. Paulo is a restricted free agent, so there's a chance that if you guys both decide to sign him, then he could just still go back to the magic anyway. You guys talking which player you actually want to sign or take a risk on signing. Yeah, like, I, I, I want Curry, but he's old. I don't know if he'll produce yeah. at the levels that he really is trying is supposed to be. Paulo, I'm just scared that the magic will like Master okay. offer. I'll go. I'll go stuff. Okay, this should be the last day. And you should. Okay, you got Curry. All right, you guys got three minutes to talk. Go ahead. You guys have one season left as well. Just letting you know. Hey, season number five coming up. Um, who got Stephen Curry? It was me and Fisher. We had two options. I wanted to get Paulo, but he was a restricted free agent. So I don't know if the Magic would match their offer. Thirty-eight year old Steph Curry for a four-year, one hundred and ninety-four million deal. Like, uh, it, bro. It, but he wanted. He wanted Curry, bro. Oh. I wanted Paulo. Yeah, Flipper, that's us, bro. Yeah, we traded Cole Anthony for Gary Trent. Yeah. So it's like, it was literally like, we didn't lose anything. Just didn't want to get worse and not lose the no trade thing. I think me and Beast, uh, we 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 got like the very first trade, and we said yeah. we said um, no trade. Well, so we our first trade, we got Victor and Mitchell to trade, so we chose Mitchell. And the three okay. people we got, it was the most dog water trade. Ever. Yeah, it was it was all terrible. Right. Time is so up. That's the second three time y'all said no trade, bro. The dog. <laughs> all right, Zo, who's your vote for? I'm gonna go with Flipper again. Flipper. I, I feel like that very signing was crazy. All right, Curl, who's your vote? Uh, Beast. Beast. Who's your vote? It's Crow. All right, Flipper, who's your vote? Beast. Beast? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we don't need a revote. We did have a majority, and the majority voted Beast. You are out. What? Oh. But any last words before you get moved? No, it's 100% Crow. 100%. <laughs>。see what our first two players are going to be. It's going to be eight and five. So you could trade Walsh. And you could trade, I believe, DiVincenzo. Yeah, so Walsh and DiVincenzo are on the block. Let's do both. Let's do both. Yeah, because since this is our last year, we, we might as well. All right, and your three trades are going to be 22, 12, and 23. Trade number 12 is Malik Monk and Ryan Jones. Trade 22 is Nasir Little and Mortise Wagner. Trade 23 is Brandon Clark and Isaiah Mobley. Do we have to trade or no? You can opt to not make a trade. I don't want to make a trade. Uh, 23. Are we flipping on it? Yeah. Flipping. Okay, so call it. Tails. Call in tails, and we have heads. All right, so this trade's going to oh. go through. <laughs> God, bro. <laughs> All right, well, Walsh and DiVincenzo for Clark and Isaiah Mobley going through. You both got chosen again to make the final trade. So let's see what your last two players are going to be. It's going to be three and two, so you could trade Curry and Mark in him. I want to trade Curry and Mark. I want to trade both. No, just, just put up Curry. We'll put it up to the coin flip. Really, go ahead and call it. Uh... Heads. Heads. Let's see what it is. And it is Tails. So we're going to put um, just Curry in the deal. Right, Zoe? That's what you wanted? Yep. Okay. Out of those 13 offers, you're going to use 10, 12, and 1. So the first one you see here is for Embiid. Offer number 10 is for Chris Middleton and Grant Williams. And then offer 12 is for Cat. Yeah, I want to do this one time. No, 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 no. Wait, so we, so we have to make a trade, right? Um, You can opt to not make a trade. It's still it's still on the board. Uh, Zoe, go ahead and call it. And Tails. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, 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 can I change my thing? Uh, what, what? To one. All right, let's see what it is. And it is heads. So we are going to do the MB trade. All right, well, Luca MVP. And Victor and Embiid both made an NBA team. And the Knicks are in the playoffs as the second seed. I don't know how well this duo is going to do in the sim, but for the hopping games, this might be cheese. All right, well, y'all got the Pacers in the first round. They got, I don't really got much. Game one, Indy takes. Game two, Knicks. Game three, Knicks. Game four, Knicks, and that'll be up. Oh, nope, three two. Yep, we're hopping in. Porzingis in the post. Oh my god. What a They're gonna go to Embiid well, in the clutch no, here. And no. Bead with a crazy yep. shot. Yeah, that's oh my, my god. That's my oh, that's oh, is that a train. oh he fouled him with 27 seconds like they do. Let's they go. Still have a that's why we got rid of Curry. Quentin grinds from three, misses it. And that oh, okay. That's a board. Oh my god. Nemhar from oh my three. God. Misses hit again, oh, and we're going to game seven. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my no. god. Yeah, this is back. nasty. Nah, no way. St oh, what a block by Victor! <laughs> Victor has he tween. <laughs> oh he my god! Bro, <laughs> Crow, it's obviously you. <laughs> yeah, oh, what? Oh my god. You ain't saying anything about crew. Oh, no he smoked it. All right, well, they're at least going to the second Damn. round. All right, you got to play against Paolo in the second round. Game one, Knicks. Game two, Magic. Game three, Magic. Game four, Knicks. Game five, Knicks. All right, well, it's a blowout in game six. Okay, uh, all right, all right. Point. Oh my god, they'll turn over. What is oh that my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what what was that look. shot? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, that's what you want. That's what you want. Yeah, okay. Why is he breaking up the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Nemar drive and lays oh it up. It? Got it to go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and it's Brunson. Oh, he smoked Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're the smarter, bro. Brunson with the, the second one. All right, he got that one. What are they doing? Are they running a pick and Whoa. pop with a beat at Victor? And beat a double team. Oh, no. Nemar from three. Oh, he smoked it. I'm not going to lie. I think if they, if you guys kept Curry, I think he would have had a much better shot. Curl oh, making Curry. Yeah, yeah. Curry. You yeah. Know, you Curl don't making that in B turn. trade was. Hey, wait. Nero, it was King Charge and Curl, right? No. It was Curl and Flex. Yeah. Wait, it was flat? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. flat. Yeah, it was flat. Oh, yeah. I made a good call. Like, I single, I carried, bro. I you single handed carry. This dude tried to trade Curry for Grant Williams. And, like, <laughs> that shit was like, I was like, why didn't you just, I was like, why didn't you just do the Grant Williams shit? That would have been funny. That right there is going to cap off the rebuild with the tanks winning against the GMs. I usually don't ask for likes or subscribing, but this video took a lot of time to do, so I appreciate if you guys liked the video. And maybe we'll do it again. Let me know what you think. Goodbye.